plan. It just released detailed COVID-19 control measures for travelers. Our EBC correspondent there, Christelle Pereira, will go through these measures. Christelle? As we intensify efforts to contain the COVID-19 outbreak, Thailand's Public Health Ministry released detailed measures for travelers visiting the country. So if you're coming to visit Thailand, there are some things you should know before you come here. The Tourism Authority of Thailand said travelers arriving in Thailand will be categorized into three groups for different levels of surveillance. First category is the travelers from the disease-infected zones. Travelers from the disease-infected zones, namely China, including Hong Kong and Macau, Italy, Iran, and South Korea, are now required to apply for a visa before entering Thailand. They will have to quarantine themselves upon arriving here. Before they can be issued a boarding pass, they must also present a health certificate to prove they have no risk of the potentially deadly COVID-19 before they can be issued a boarding pass. Upon arriving in Thailand, the travelers have to undergo the entry scanning and provide necessary information to officers at the quarantine office. This also applies to people who have transited at an airport in a disease-infected zone for at least 12 hours or those who have passed through immigration in any of the countries and territories mentioned. The Thai government has put in place a mandatory 14-day quarantine for travelers in this category. They are required to self-quarantine at their accommodation for at least 14 days. They are not allowed to leave their accommodation until the end of the infectious period or the reason for suspicion unless approved by a disease control officer. Throughout the period of quarantine, travelers must record their own symptoms in the reporting system and monitor their symptoms strictly. There will be a surveillance officer to closely monitor travelers' symptoms. Next category is travelers from countries with ongoing local transmission. Travelers in the second category are those who enter Thailand from overseas destinations with ongoing local transmission of COVID-19. According to the latest list updated by the Disease Control Department on March 13, they include France, Spain, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, the United Kingdom, the United States, and certain cities in Japan, namely Hokkaido, Tokyo, Aichi, Wakayama, Kanagawa, Chiba, Okinawa, Kyoto, and Osaka. Travelers arriving from the countries with ongoing local transmission are required to be under observation in order to ensure self-monitoring for no less than 14 days until the end of the infectious period or the reason for suspicion. They must also re record their own symptoms in the reporting system and monitor their symptoms strictly as required by the Public Health Ministry. The traveler must notify the disease control officer about the places he or she visits so that a surveillance officer can closely monitor his or her movement and contacts. If they feel ill and suspect to have fever accompanied by cough, runny nose, sore throat, or shortness of breath within 14 days after arriving in Thailand, they are required to inform a disease control officer in order to be tested, treated, diagnosed, and quarantined. Next category is travelers from other destinations. Travelers from other destinations are now required to undergo the usual entry and exit screening and advice to follow health recommendations. They include avoid going to crowded places, avoid staying close to people who have respiratory disease symptoms, consume cooked food, use serving spoons, wash hands, wear cloth masks to prevent themselves from contracting COVID-19. According to TAT, the Disease Control Department currently conducts a COVID-19 surveillance protocol with travelers at 46 quarantine offices. They include six international airports, Suvarnabhum, Don Muang, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Phuket, and Krabi. Six seaports in Bangkok, Lam Chabang, Chiang Sen, Phuket, Samui, and Krabi, and 34 grand ports or border checkpoints. So make sure you have everything you need to know before traveling to Thailand. We wish everyone a safe and blessed day. Reporting from Bangkok, Thailand, this is Lady Cristel Pereira, and I am one with 25.